Hey YouTube, Blade Knight, and we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you around the original DRT server, which is a world I ended up saving. God, it's really laggy. Uh, having a little bit of a problem doing Let's Plays right now in Minecraft via no time, but oh god, that's going to be fun. Yep, so uh, we'll, we'll get more. We'll get more. Don't worry about it. Man. <laughs> World load. Okay, there we go. So, right now we are in my original base. Most of this is pretty much full original. You may notice this stuff. That's uh, some Tekkit stuff. I had to put this thing on Tekkit in order to get it to work again. But, yeah, it's it's pretty much all the same. That's new. Gold blocks. Because <laughs> gold's useless. Alright. So, this is the original fort... Obsidian. Well, not the original, just the original one out of here. The flag tower up here. I'll go climbing. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Put a bunch of industrial equipment in the tower. Yep. Then we got all the nice little lookout points all over pretty much well everywhere. Let's have to take a look at that next. And now I gotta go down. Quick way down. Then yep, over here. <laughs> I'm lost. In my own place. All right. So that that's the flag tower. And then I have the storage tower right here. This gold one. Pretty much will just crap left over. I did take out these stairs a while ago. And the top floor is for guest room. Come outside, my greenhouse, the original wheat, that I haven't been doing for a while, uh, the pumpkin patch, which used to be a pumpkin and melon patch alongside a farm for cocoa beans, but cocoa beans don't exactly work the way they do in Tekkit. A little slight glitch on that, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, cows, uh, this one used to be the rail tower, or the railway tower, you can see these little uh, stands over here. This used to be a rail system that went that way. Before we ended up leaving for the last time, everyone decided, ah, eh, let's just blow everything up. It's like, eh, I wanted to keep the world file because of this. And some smarty named Cyber Knight decided he's going to blow up this whole entire rail system that went to Fury's house, which is over there. So, yeah. Blew a hole out of this side of the tower. So I got that all patched up. Looks fine now. Got a diamond roof. This is the false tower. This is one that I never really thought of putting anything in here in the first place. So I just put a bunch of crap. I always had a lighthouse in the corner of the fort whenever I built it. So now it's hosting a uh, recycler and the, uh, oh good lord, the mass fabricator. Just, just complete note. This thing is amazing with all of those uh, solar... Those are high voltage solar arrays up there. It's like amazing. I don't even need to put scrap in there. I don't even think I've been using the recycler. Alright, so that's false tower. Rail tower really has nothing in it now except it's now the uh, alchemy tower. It's got uh, the nice little array up top, and that's pretty much all it. So we'll head outside, shall we? Look at the pretty much full original downtown square. Now, you may have noticed, good lord, look at all these. Yeah. Uh, Tekkit does this weird thing where if you put a world filed in and it has a bunch of blocks that it doesn't know what it is, such as, oh, uh, birch half steps, which all of these were birch half steps, it'll replace it with a different item object. So it replaced it with this. So I had a lot of materials to work with. And remember when I said earlier about it used to be a cocoa bean farm on top on those uh, jungle trees? Those turn, those get turned into uh, what the hell are those called? Dark matter pedestals. And man, they're just those are so much EMC. I'm not even kidding. All right, so over here we got the we got Melon Lord. Hi, Melon Lord. He said hi. All right, then the original Netherrack farm. 
Yeah, I guess an Enderman's been in here. Cyber used to be really into potion. The fuck? Got yeah, Cows don't exactly see iron fences as fences, so they will continually try to jump over them until they eventually succeed, like that one did. And he paid the price. Look at him. He's giblets now. Inventory's full, though. <laughs> so he can, he can lay there and rot. Probably get rid of some stuff, I guess. Got magnet mode on. Alright, so this is the original... No, not really the original. This is just the cow farm. The original cow farms actually was off the side of our house. This thing's actually our original house right here. Kind of nice. I still live in it yet. Everyone else took off and did their own things. That's still the original nether portal right there. Uh, this used to go off the side of Cyber's barn. Now, why do I say used to, and where's Cyber's barn now, and why is there a giant pyramid here? Well, the whole thing ended up starting when someone decided to fill my house with melons, and I got mad, and I was going to pull a prank on him, and the prank didn't work. Long story short, his whole house exploded, and that's how we had to restart the whole server. His barn was gone, his house was gone, his house was over here in this general area and then I ended up deciding you know what I had a pyramid in one of the servers that I really liked so I decided to replicate it here the best I could yep. and this is actually probably go down here and show you this real quick we had a rail system that went underground and this is really the only entrance to it now because I sealed mine off there really wasn't a point of having it open anymore since this is now a single player world. Yep, so this was Cyber Station. Yep, Cyber Station. And you can see this used to be an abandoned mine shaft down here. Oh, got that. This cuts trees, don't it? Let's put that back. Eh. New mouse. All right, Let's put that back. Keep going. Head this way. We can go to my station. A couple of iron doors, cause you know zombies. It's all abandoned mine shafts down here. Maintenance tunnel. This is a main cavern, which is very nice. And then I sealed it off, turned it into my sta sandstone station. Give me a little ticket booth. All the stairs ended up having to be replaced too. Is I, I don't know something goofy. Welcome to Fort Obsidian, and I sealed it. <laughs> yep, I decided to. I already said. Ah man, Enderman been down here too. Yep, so that's pretty much all of that, and we'll head. So that. Do I even have carts in here anymore? Oh, sweet. it! I do. Alright, we'll head to... Now, you notice here it says Cybers and then Gotham City. We'll head towards the section that used to be Yakimo's. Hey. Rail system works for a ways, and then uh, he, he had a giant Enderman statue above his house and decided to blow it up. TNT went a little far down into the base. And I'll eventually run out of track here somewhere. But yep, this is, this is pretty much all the normal commute over there. See the end portal. Marked a lot of things now. And up and out. Alright, there's that. Put that in there. I still need to fix this. I pretty much full reconstructed his uh, stop here. Still ended up having a lot of damage in through here. You can actually see there there's those uh there's the upper monorailway that went towards Furies. We got this here. This was just the upper level, this is the bat pole. As you can see when we 
blew up Gotham City, which was where that obsidian platform was down there, it pretty much will took out a lot. Uh, I actually broke in here and put out all that fire because frame rate sucks. All right, and this is this is pretty much where Yakima was. I did. I'm starting to work on it a little bit because I kind of want to turn this into something. Yeah, be kind of interesting to see what Yakima says about this. But yep, I started uh, trying to take this out and trying to turn it into Wayne Manor since that's what he was trying to do in the first place. I didn't have the Bat Cave below, and then I've got this area flattened out for uh, Gotham whenever I decide to reintroduce this as a world file somewhere. Because it, it wasn't a bad world. I like this world. So I, I got most of this flattened out. Fury used to have a giant tower right here. We ended up blowing that up too, and it's pretty much the only thing that was left. We ended up building a little room down here for him to store prisoners. Lights are pretty much well still here. Everything's kind of exploded a little bit. Oh, hello, creeper. Uh, a little, uh, little Mr. Freeze action right here. <laughs> yep. Okay, I found the one hole in this entire place. There we go. All right, back out through Gotham. Yep. So that. Pretty much all the only thing left. There used to be his uh, fence and like the base of the tower, but that ended up getting taken out, so I could flatten this out quite a bit. Let's see, and then there's a. This is actually Yakimo's back door to the manor, but I'm trying to get as flat this way as possible, so I ended up taking that out too. This little thing right here does a lot of damage. Just watch this. Boop, gone. <laughs> Gone. And I know I'm a inventory soul. Alright. So this is uh this is the back entrance to the Bat Cave slash Wayne Manor slash I have no idea what he was trying to do with this thing. Secret door. We're back in here. I still need to deal with this roof yet. And pretty much the only thing left is where Fury was. That, that, that's our little bridge. There used to be a big wooden bridge that went this way, but that ended up getting burnt down. Mostly because some TNT went through it when they blew up the Enderman. Yep, and this is pretty much, well, the only thing that's left of Fury's house. He's got a little bit of arms and armament in here. His uh, pig pen still around yet. His cat's still here. I'm pretty sure this one was his cat. Yakimo's cat might have exploded slightly. I know Cybers did. Yeah, cause I, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to click on him right now, and he's not doing anything. Yep, that's pretty much for the entire old server. Minus a couple of things that are way over there. That, that was our ravine. That was always there. Floating trees. The bane of all Minecraft. Okay. There. So, that's the fort again. That's pretty much full it. And I might fly over and look at the XP farm. That was something that we built. See all the little torch trails heading off through the night? It's probably the best way to find it. Ooh, loading, and there it is, XP farm. Cyber ended up building this thing. I think he built it in creative mode. Pretty much, it's a, there's a skeleton spawner down here, and they'll suffocate all the way through here and drop. You get like one heart of damage, and then you smack them. That's pretty much all you do to them. You'll see a Fort Sandstone thing over there. That was our one and only pyramid that we ended up finding. Ah, flyby. 
Yep. Here's the pyramid. The naturally occurring pyramid. And that's pretty much well it. That's the entire original BRT world that has now been techified for the pure and simple fact that, eh, it worked. I had to cheat and get a couple of Tekkit items since the world was so way spawned out that there was no way I could actually naturally find copper or tin or silver or anything like that. And touchdown. All right. So that was the world. Later.